Holly, let me start with you. Is there an issue to discuss? And if so, what is it? Look, I think there is an issue to discuss around trans rights and I think you rightly point out that any discussion should be done with respect and decency. But I do think some of the examples you just pointed to is working towards the erasure of women, the dismissal of the experience of women as mothers and the uh, you know, women fought really hard for a lot of rights uh, over a long period of time and it feels like a lot of those rights are now being... Uh, overridden and eroded uh, for the trans community. And I, it's not fair to women, quite frankly, and I find it incredibly offensive having been a mother who had three children. I am not a birthing parent. I breastfed three children. I, you know, did not chest feed them. Uh, and, you know, there's ramifications for women who have children <laughs> post that uh, that we then experience as we get older and those sorts of things happen to our bodies that... Uh, children uh, seem to make a, make a go of on their way through, uh, that that should be respected and honoured and not try to be erased. Um, Sal Groves, what's worried you most about the examples in the media lately of the transgender uh, polit politicking uh, or the examples I've just given? One of the things that actually bothers me and worries me the most is it being um, phrased as the trans debate. This is very firmly about women's rights because it's women's rights that are under attack. Um, the women like myself who are speaking up about this, we don't hate other people. We don't want other people to not have rights. We just want to make sure our own rights are protected at the same time. But uh, Holly, given that, what do you make of the media destruction of Catherine Deves? the way so many Liberals have disowned her, saying, well, yes, there is sort of a debate, but uh, she's terrible about raising it and then, mm -hmm. you know, just running a million miles from it. Look, I have to say, Andrew, the way that Miss Deves has been pursued by the media, and I think we've all established and acknowledged that the tweets that she put out were not in the best of taste and some were downright unacceptable. She's apologised for those. Uh, but she has been continually chased by the media and attacked for that, and, uh, and we've seen her being physically chased as well. Yet we've got a Labor candidate who is hand-picked by Alba uh, uh, Albanese for the Senate, a close friend of his, a federal vice president of the Labor Party, who has tweets attacking the Pope, who has suggested Jesus was gay, yet we have deathly silence. So I think it actually says more about what the media wants to prosecute as opposed to what these issues actually are. You know, the, the offence caused to Christians and Catholics all over the place from Michelle Myers tweets uh, would affect vastly more people uh, than if you look at the 1,260, I think, people that identify as trans in the last census. But yet we see no coverage of that whatsoever. We don't see the Labor Party being held to account whatsoever when it comes to this sort of behaviour. Uh, so I think we are seeing uh, the left-wing media doing what it does best and just chasing a Liberal, and particularly Liberal women and Conservative women, and attacking them uh, in any way they can. What do you make of it, Sal Groves? Have you been disappointed by the way so many Liberals have, have ditched Catherine Deves? Or did you think perhaps it wasn't smart to put her up right on the eve of the election without having prepared the debate first? Oh, I think it's horrible how she's been treated and how Liberals have treated all women who are speaking out about this. Um, with other Australian women, we've launched the Respect My Sex Oz campaign and we've sent our media release to all Liberal media in Australia and none of them have gotten back to us. So here I am, like, speaking to you again about it because the, and we're so grateful that you give us this platform. We are being, like, silenced and ignored and punished just for simply telling the truth and saying that we would like to be called women and that there is a problem here with child safeguarding and medicalization of children. I mean, Kath has not spoken about anything she's not educated on. And it would be great if some of the journalists in Australia actually did their job and got as educated as she is on this issue. What sort of things would you like to happen to progress this uh, debate or at least guarantee that people who want to discuss it with an open mind, with an open heart, without wanting to demonise anyone, just discuss it, Holly Hughes, what would you like to happen 
and I think it's got to happen after the election now, obviously. Mm. Mm. Look, I think there has to be a recognition that to, to give one group rights doesn't mean you need to erode the rights of another group, and that's what we're starting to see happen. Uh, I've had some discussions with some gay male friends of mine, and the way that they have put it to me, uh, particularly from the LGB, and, and I'm old enough to remember when it was just LGB, uh, within the movement or cause around gay and lesbian rights is that trans is based around sort of gender dysmorphia and being born in the wrong body, not sexuality. Whereas if you look at the traditional LGB movement, it was based around sexuality. So perhaps there needs to be a separation out yeah. from, from that cause, um, but that we start to discuss this in a way that ensures that everyone is respected, that everyone is supported... I think this is the but key. ..but that we're not start, eroding the start rights with of women in particular. Yeah, look, I, I, I agree. Start with respect. Don't throw a bomb to start with. Um, uh, Holly Hughes, Sale Groves, thank you so much for you to you both. After Thanks, the break, we're going to talk about how this election campaign probably 